morning. So the biggest, cleanest swell I've seen at Fort Point and probably the biggest swell I've seen in five years. And the vibe was amazing. Like everyone who came around the corner because the parking lot was closed, they, as soon as they feasted their eyes on this, they were like, whoa, wow. And they, you know, either just totally taken in by the spectacle or whipped out their phone and wanted to capture a shot. It was incredible. And post holiday, I, I was feeling high myself, you know, one of the best holiday seasons I can remember, you know, after a couple years of, of people being more in fear and separation and, and wanting to isolate everyone. It's like coming back together and hugging's back in, you know, the, the fist bump is gone. Hugging's back. Everyone was like stoked and feeling good. And, you know, post holiday, this booming swell, I think it all kind of came together to create like the best vibe I've seen at this spot. You know, often it can be kind of uh, contentious or aggressive or, or bad vibes. But today it was just like, everyone seemed super stoked to see this and just like amazed, you know, it was so fun to behold. Essentially we built or constructed a way of coming together that was different and, and had everyone feeling good. We build lots of constructs, whether it's capitalism or democracy or, you know, hunter gather. Like when, when we came to the new world, there were the, the colonial kind of way of, of doing things. They constructed a certain society and then the native tribal people had a different construct of how they lived and got along. And some might say, you know, good or bad or, you know, like the e-foilers, they've constructed a whole new way of riding waves, one that's completely different than anything that's come along in the surfing culture before. And regardless of how we, you know, might judge it or label it, I'm simply pointing out that it's a construct, like the whole one person to a wave or, or short board or long board in a certain part of a wave or the person deepest has priority or the person that lives there or has the most seniority has priority. These are all constructs that we invented. They, they weren't always that way as in prior to 1960 surfing had more of a party wave or the Hawaiians and other Polynesian cultures might be on their aliyas or their pipos or their canoes or whatever. And they had a different way of riding waves and who had priority or not, or they might not have even had such a concept. You know, these are just constructs of how we created the system and whether it's working for us or not, we can create a different system. You know, just like the past couple of years, we had a, a fear-based system. And then this holiday season, we completely, for the most part, abandoned that, went to a get back together system. And it, it's just we have the power to choose whichever system works for us and they don't necessarily have to be universal. You know, it's, it's fascinating to me that the, the one person to a wave priority kind of system, it, it's universal the world over in surfing. Whereas in, in a historical kind of perspective, even when there was monarchy or empire, there were hunter and gather systems that lived alongside them. Just like today, the Hadza, whatever you want to call it, live alongside democracy or communism or dictatorship. You know, the, the systems have some variety, even when it seems like one system might dominate the world. But I have yet to be pretty much anywhere. I've traveled all over the world and the, the priority one wave, you know, in the pocket kind of system, it's universal. It's everywhere. I've yet to be anywhere except maybe like a, a private club kind of setup where it was different. And so that's trippy to me that that's the way it is. And Haley, he kind of makes up his own system, which is no matter how big or crazy it is, he's going out. And today he did all the right things. He checked the tide chart. He checked the current. He got there early. He watched and for a couple hours and scoped it out. And then he went out before other people so that he, you know, had more of an open territory. And then he went out and charged and he still got smoked. And he was saying that the current on the chart about the time he went out was about 1.9 knots. And when he got out there, he said it felt like five. And his theory was that with all the rain, a ton of water is draining into the bay and that created extra current just rushing out the gate. And both when I was there that day and this, watching the clip over and over, I couldn't see it, but his leash snapped right after that. And his board got sucked out, nowhere to be seen. The lineup got clear and the only one left is the e-foiler. Everyone else got smoked out. And there's a little back eddy on the other side and Haley didn't have his board. So it, it took him longer to get in, but four guys on short boards also got sucked out and they made it to the beach e easier than he did, but they said it was like an eight foot shore pound and there's big gnarly rocks sticking up. So just like a PSA that 
it's serious when there's that much water moving. You know, you can get sucked out and find yourself in this open water mess like this if, if one's not careful. So even though Haley lost his board, I'm glad to report that everyone made it back safe, had a good time. So I'm juiced and jazzed and my vibe was high just seeing this. You know, I've seen it before at this size, you know, but to see it again and, and just have all day to watch it, it was just incredible, super amazing. And in case you're wondering, yes, I have seen people pull into these barrels. Usually there's like a, a line as the tide goes out when it becomes rideable and usually the swell has more angle and so more gets in here. But yeah, I have seen people pull into these. And so that's awesome. Super fun to watch and hope to see it again soon. So thanks for watching and I hope to see you out there and I hope this was helpful and fun to watch. And, you know, lo and behold, there's another 30 foot swell in the forecast in a couple of days. So awesome. And the surf is just starting. And thank you so much. And please like, share it around, thumbs up, subscribe, come on over to the website, check that out. And if you can do a membership or a donation or the super thanks on YouTube, that all helps. And thank you so much and hope everyone's safe and hope to see you out there.